What's up, guys? This, as I'm sure you all know, is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dawn of Destiny. You know, I mean, Bloodmon 14. Uh, yeah, so, how's it going, guys? Last episode, we uh, rolled the credits here at the finale. And in today's episode, well, we're going to continue as far as the triples go. Go to triple uh, 13. <laughs> and as you can see here, we have Rare Hunter, Rare Hunter, and Rare Hunter. Hmm. So, yeah, this may be a really, really, really short part. Or it may be a, like, uh, three or four parter. It has been a while since I played this game, so let me make sure I have the right deck. Okay, I have the, uh, the Flood deck. Okay. So, uh, yeah, but, uh, hope you guys have been doing well. First, uh, first extra tier. Whoops, there's Yami Bakura. <laughs> Let's go here. Okay, so wish me luck. Or, I don't know, maybe you want to not wish me luck so we can see a lot more of this game. <laughs> you won't stand a chance against my powerful cards, Wheeler. All right, let's do this, man. All right. Ah, yes. I've definitely missed, like, playing this game, man. It's just, it's, oh. It's, it's it's one of my it's one of my favorites for sure but you know the finale had to be done it had to be done and it has been done all right but dueling this guy you can either get really lucky and you know he plays a lot of trap cards like this um, or you can get really unlucky and have him go you know pot of greed in the pot of green and just oof, really mess up your life. Um, let's just set the cyber jar. Hmm. Jar of greed, yeah. <laughs> I activate my truck card! Yeah, okay. And let's set MST. Hmm. That's it. What you got, rare hunter? <laughs> Three-headed Guido in attack mode. Now destroy his monster. Yeah, that's what I wanted you to do. Now go Cyber Jar. So let's destroy everything and give us a new hand. Ooh, he got swords. That's not good. Life Observer Machine. Piece of Exodia, but he has to play it on the field. Ah. Just as Erks and another three headed Gita. Okay. So the bad thing he got there was swords. The good thing we got here is Morphing Jar. So we can discard swords right away. Mm, Slate Warrior type mode. Seven colored fish. Not bad, not bad. Go, just desserts! <laughs> yeah, and your life points are only at 6,000 in this tier. You know, normally you don't have to worry about uh, damage, but uh, just desserts is a pretty good card, so I guess watch for your life points in this one. Alright, now Morphing Jar will discard all the cards in our hands. Let's see how many pieces of Exodia he had. One. Just one. Wow. Okay. Honestly, we might have helped him out here by morphing jarring. Uh, solemn wishes. I am glad to see though. Here, I'll set two more cards face down and end my turn. All right. But if he's playing face down cards, that's usually a good sign because obviously it means he doesn't have uh, Exodia pieces in his hand, right? Right. Alright, so let's just attack here. Uh, Slate Warrior, destroy this. Negate attack! <laughs> Next, I'll play Jar of Greed! This lets me draw one card. Alright. Okay, so main phase two. Let's set Ping one night and end the turn. Decree will do you a lot of good here in this triple. Or I guess if you draw Harpy's Feather Duster, that's always good too, but you know. Solemn wishes. What? Alright. Okay, Grace will 
charity, not bad. Hmm. Let's see if we can draw, actually, if we can draw a uh, Harvey's Feather Duster. No, a spell card? Yeah, boy. Coffin Cellar. Ah, ha, ha. I'll discard Barrel Dragon. And Magician of... Ooh, I probably should have kept Magician of Fate. What if he has Magic Jammer? Hmm. Go, Harpy's Feather Duster. Oh, he didn't have Magic Jammer. Good. Trap Hole. Trap Hole. Negate Attack. Good, good. Glad to see all those gone. Let's summon <laughs> Penguin Knight, because it can actually take out the Exodia piece. We'll go with Mystic Tomatol. I'll set Coffin Cellar. Alright, let's do this, boys and girls. Go, Penguin Knight! Destroy that piece of Exodia. Yeah, attaboy, Penguin Knight. Okay, I think Fish has to take out Guido. Yeah. And with Mr. Tomato, I'll try to attack the other face down. Sims for Serpent. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, so we'll get in 2100. Alright. Very good, very good. <laughs> Alright, and uh, I'll end my turn there. Okay, so he's gonna get Sinister Serpent back. Alright, I didn't keep a card in my hand for Magic Jammer. Ooh, this could be bad. That's on me, honestly. That's on me. If we lose this one, that's on me. Grateful Charity! This lets me draw three cards and discard two. Hmm. Two face downs! That's it! Alright. Let's see if he's got the third Jar of Greed. Okay, and I have MST, so... Okay, I'll play Coffin Cellar. Hmm... Let's MST the first one he said, shall we? That one. What was it? Torrential Tribute. Well, I am glad I got that out. Uh, let's switch Penguin Knight to Defense. And Mystic Tomato, just in case. Just in case. What if this guy has Mirror Force? You never know. Go and shit and javelin! Well, now I kind of wish I kept Mystic Tomato in attack mode, but... You know, better safe than sorry. Alright, alright. You got one more turn, Rare Hunter. And I guess... I'll end my turn. Hmm... I guess I should have chained Coffin Cell to the Graceful Charity as well. Go! I'll take back Sinister Serpents, and I'll set it face down. So all we need to do is destroy one of his monsters and we win with Coffin Cellar. Um, that's a pretty good card. Don't think I'll play it, though. Go, Slate Warrior. Nice. He didn't have another Enchanted Javelin, so we win. Alright, now go Coffin Cellar, drain his life points. <laughs> nice. Alright, one duel down, two to go. Ah, I have the rarest cards. Alright. And we face him once again. No, I'm not going to change anything. I mean, I guess I could rotate Penguin Knight out, but, you know. <laughs> not too worried. Let's do this, guys. The big question, will we see the Exodia animation in this, you know? Good question, good question. Um, two morphing jars. That's honestly pretty good. Okay, so I'll set this. And I'll set Giant Trunade. Go ahead, bro, go ahead. Of course, this isn't really too effective if he sets a lot of spells and traps, but, uh... Okay, okay. Alright, might as well play Magical Thorn here. Honestly, by setting all those uh, spells or traps first, he kind of helped himself out. Because now he's got a lot more stuff to pot potentially counter us, but... We will get a little bit of burn damage thanks to Morphin Jar. So that's good. Yeah, get rid of that Graceful Charity. Ooh, get rid of that piece of Exodia, buddy. Not bad, not bad cards, not bad cards. 
I'll throw two more face downs and in my turn. All right, guys, let's try to do it. Let's try to dust them for five. Oh, we got a royal decree, too. Ah, screw it. We'll go for it. Harpy's Feather Duster. No, a spell card. What do you got, Jar of Greed? Yeah, I figured. I figured. All right. And that's it? Oh, man. This is going to hurt. Just desserts. Negate attack. Negate attack. Trap ball. Yeah, get rid of all that, buddy. Okay, so let's go with Witch of the Black Forest. And um, I guess I'll play United We Stand here. Yeah, sure. Okay. There we go. And I'll play Call of the Haunted and Royal Decree face down. Yeah. All right, go Witch of the Black Forest. Dark Magic Attack. Now, he will get a piece of Exodia if he wants here, so that's a thing. Now, I'll take Exodia, the Forbidden One, into my hand. <laughs> All right, I am my turn. Intense music, though. I love it. Go, Swords of Revealing Light. This stops your attacks for three turns, Flood. <laughs> Stop whatever you said back there, buddy. Yeah. Now what? One monster face down. Okay. Ba -ba 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 well, I can actually bounce swords if I want. Hmm. Sure. I play giant true name. This returns all spells and traps to our hands. Oh, and because it was negated with Royal Decree, I got to keep Morphin Jar. That's funny. That's funny. I definitely didn't count on that. Um, well, guys, with that, let's go for the win. I summon Central Serpent in attack mode. All equipped United, we stand this time on Morphin Jar. Yeah. Okay, if this attack works, we win. Just in case it doesn't, let's set... Hoping, hopefully he has like sand again. Oh, it was three-headed Guido. Well, yeah, he does play that a lot, so I shouldn't be too shocked, but all right, all right. Looks like his swords are back in action, which honestly could be a big problem, so all right. Oof. All righty, I'll end my turn there, buddy. Bad, not bad. What you got? Face down. Swords of revealing light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he does have a face down, so I'll play. <laughs> Let's do the combo again. I'll play Call of the Haunted once again on Morphing Jar. Then once it resurrects, I'll play Royal Decree. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe I got to use this combo twice. That's awesome. All right. Well, and he's only got four cards right now, so there's no way he has a... Oh! That's some top deck. Part of the cards, baby. I've still got it. Go, destroy that sword of revealing light. <laughs> Looks like you're done, Rare Hunter. Morphing Jar, take him out. Go, Enchanted Javelin. Too bad, bro. Royal Decree. Ultimate Jar Smash! <laughs> Alright, and all we need is to get some is one more. Alright. No, I'm sorry, man. I told you, Master. Help me! I'll be really shocked if we beat this guy first try. For him not to get Exodia in, like, three attempts, that would be pretty surprising, honestly. Huh. <laughs> You don't stand a chance against my powerful rare cards. Alright guys, this is it. 
This is to beat the triple on the first try. Cyber Jar. Eh, okay. Two face downs and a powerful sinister serpent. <laughs> okay. That is tempting, and in fact, I will do it. Nail Hurricane! So I'll blow back all the spells and traps. Go, Jar of Greed! I'm guessing. Yes, yes. And he's, he seems to have that a lot. A lot, a lot. But, yeah, I definitely didn't want him to interrupt us because, uh, yeah, seven colored fish will get in for pretty good damage here, so let's do it. 1500 right off the bat, that is pretty good. Alright, I'll end the turn. What you get, Rare Hunter? I'll take back Sinister Serpent and I'll set two more face down. Next, I activate Graceful Charity. <laughs> this lets me draw three cards and ditch two. Alright, we got rid of Torrential Tribute. Wow. Alright. Legendary Ocean. Life Absorbing Machine! I don't think he plays life points for anything in his deck, come to think of it. Um, I guess we'll go for the win here. Uh, Mask of Darkness to play under Trap Hole. Go, Torrential Tribute! Ah, man. I, I kind of felt like I should have attacked first there, but I, I mean, I had to go for it, you know. Yeah, he, he had no monsters down, man, so I kind of felt like I had to there, you know? I don't know. Sinister Serpent! <laughs> Direct attack! Alright. Hmm, he's got a lot of cards in his hand this time. So you know what? I think I'll Morphing Jar, or at least I'll try to. So let's set this, because I'm a little scared this time. He's not setting as many spells and traps, so... That frightens me a little bit. What you got, Rare Hunter? Defense mode! Oh, that's it? Huh. Alright. Let's... Play Morphing Jar! Go! Discard all the cards in his hand. I've been lucky to draw Morphing Jar just about every time. Let's see. Ooh, one, two. Ooh, he was so close. He was so close. We'll look at his graveyard after this. Man, he I, he was really close. Let's let's take a look. So he had an arm, a leg. Okay, he had both legs. Oh, he had duplicate pieces. Okay, okay. Yeah, so all he had was three. Yeah, because he was missing the other arm and the head. Okay. All right. We'll play Gritchful Charity. I'm pretty sure his last face down's like Trap Pole or something. Premature Burial. Ooh. Didn't we discard Barrel Dragon? Guys, I think we just won. Go. Mystical Space Typhoon. Let's blow that last face down you got off the map, Rear Hunter. Ah, negate attack. Nice. Go, premature burial. So, by paying 800, I can revive a powerful monster I discarded to the graveyard. Barrel Dragon. Yeah, baby. Go, Barrel Dragon. Use your special ability. Oh, take it right out. All right, guys, and with that, we win. Go! Plasma Cannon Discharge System. And with that, we win. Wow, I'm, so, I'm really shocked we beat that on our first try. But yeah, don't take that for granted. That's... No, I've lost! That's impossible! But yeah, that triple can definitely be very challenging, like I said. I mean, we could have been here for four or five episodes if he gets really lucky. Soul Release, two of them. I think that's probably a new card for us. I don't know. Let's check the deck. Pretty sure we haven't gotten that yet. That's pretty cool. Uh, also, Nickel Gal number two. <laughs> been using her a lot in Forbidden Memories. That's pretty cool. Uh, Soul Release. Let's see. Yeah. 
Select up to five cards from either you or your opponent's graveyard and remove them from the current duel. This is actually pretty useful against him if you can like, you know, use Morphing Jar to discard all of his pieces, then he can't take them back with Backup Soldier. You know, but the only problem is, is if he already has Backup Soldier set, then he can just chain it, you know, so watch out for that. Um, but yeah, is this a new card? I think it is. Let's put two in the deck. Oh yeah, yeah, it definitely is, so nice, nice. All right, guys, well, uh, hope you enjoyed that little uh, triple episode. Um, as far as uh, Dawn of Destiny goes, you know, obviously I did the finale already and stuff, and uh, yeah, yeah, you know, it, it has been hard not coming back to this game, but uh, as far as the next episode, I, again, I don't plan to record, you know, too much of this because we have done the finale. But yeah, uh, the next triple, this is what we'll be doing next time. I decided to record this triple. Ooh, team. Yeah, Yami, the Yamis. We have the Yamis. Yami Merrick, Yami Bakura, Yami Yugi. Two big things about this triple. Very challenging. Number one. Yeah, Yami Merrick and Yami Yugi are pretty powerful. I mean, Yami Makura too, eh, you know, to an extent, but the big thing here, yeah, your life points are only at 6,000, much like this triple. So, uh, yeah, unlike here, like here at triple 12, you know, you face the Battle City finalists, your life points were at 14,000. You know, you can work with that, but here, you'll definitely want to put like more you know, life point gaining cards than usual, like Solemn Wishes or whatever, because if you don't, oh man. <laughs> and not to mention, like, Yami Merrick loves his burn cards, so, yeah, this this might be one of the harder, hardest triples in the game, believe it or not, so, just because your life points are so, so low, but, yeah, uh, it's, it's gonna be a little while before we do this one, but we'll do this one next time, guys. All right, well, Hope you guys liked this episode. And, uh, yeah. In the meantime, in between time, feel free to check out some of the other Yu-Gi-Oh! content I have on my channel. Like, uh, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. We got Nightmare Troubadour going. And, uh, yeah, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Chef of Destruction as well. So, uh, also GX Duel Academy. Plenty of Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff in the meantime. So, all right. And if you like Pokemon... I actually just finished recording the finale of Pokemon Trading Card Game. And, uh, yeah, so you can watch some of that. Or, uh, we are doing a randomizer of Pokemon Platinum, so, yeah. Alrighty. Well, thanks, guys. And, uh, I'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye.